while perusing on the forums I came across a really neat item uh, very compact very multifunction in my opinion uh, it is a, a hide scraper and it's made by Dave Beck very cool uh, about an eighth of an inch thick uh, 01 tool steel uh, as far as I can tell uh, just this edge right here from the edge on back a little bit is heat treated because I've put a file to it and I'll explain why later but uh, it's uh, a really really neat piece of gear like I said it comes with this little leather pouch fits very easily into a kit all right uh, lends itself to a lot of different tasks so to start with it's a hide scraper and that's why uh, Mr. Beck uh, made this in the first place. Uh, one of his friends has a, a primitive skill school from what I understand and he wanted a hide scraper that was small and compact so Mr. Beck made him one of these. And the way it works is you drill a couple of holes, have a couple of screws with you, screw it to a piece of wood and the way these are countersunk is the way it goes on for a scraper. Well I saw this and I thought well wow I can do a lot of other stuff with that it's got a nice sharp edge on it. Uh, I should be able to use it for lots of stuff. So what I'm going to show you with is how I use it just by hand to scrape. Uh, strike a fire steel. Use it to uh, make scrapings for a fire. Also uh, use it for an improvised hatchet. And I'll go through all these things and maybe even an improvised ads real quick also. Something you do need to carry with you though if you're going to use it for a, a few of the aforementioned items is a few screws. All right, a couple of drywall screws work real well. I'd carry more than two because they seem to get lost pretty quick. Something to also drill the hole with into your wood uh, will help. Something with an awl. And I'll also be doing a review on this farmer knife also. Uh, and I'll get this put together in a few configurations and show you what I'm talking about. This is the ADS configuration. All right. I drilled a couple of holes in there, put the screws in, opposite the way it's supposed to be for a scraper. Remember this countersunk on that one side. The ads is probably uh, one of the weaker ways you can use this because it tends to loosen up real quick, but you can use it for a little bit of work. Um, you can use it for up close work. A little bit of planing, but not too much. Um, like I said, that's one configuration. It's probably it was not designed for that at all. All right, it's not designed for a lot of stuff. I'm going to do to it. Uh, but the next one I'm going to do is unscrew it from here. I'm going to split this, and I'm going to make this into a mini hatchet. And that's probably my favorite way to use this. And uh, it's pretty easy to do with a little bit of 550 cord. But just so you know, I'm trying to work out of a, a small kit here. All right. Uh, like this saw that I brought out to cut this wire saw, improvise the rest of it. All right. Um, so I took my uh, hide scraper, put it in there. Ugh. Took another stick, this end of here. I put it in there like a wedge and beat it down. And what that did was cause a split. All right. So I put that in there, beat it till it split. Then what I want to do is place this in there, take it down a little ways. It's kind of key to this, what you have to do is leave one hole out because I'm going to secure that with 550 cord, that way it won't come back out. I'm also going to wrap this here and then go through here and then wrap the top and it creates a vise and it holds it in here and it actually works pretty good. So I used a couple pieces of 550 cord, <clears throat> wrapped the bottom real tight and then came up, ran it through twice on that hole all right, and then secured it up top to make a vise to hold everything in there. Now this isn't going to be perfect, all right, but it works okay. So you got to remember too it's only sharp on one side. So making circular chopping cuts works the best. Pretty easy. You can also use it. Then we got something here. Get the split.
all right? That is a crappy piece of wood, all right? But with a decent piece of wood, all right, you can use it to split wood down. You can use it to get a lot of different stuff together for firecraft, for sheltercraft. Um, works pretty good. Now, eventually this, this stuff will loosen up, all right? So you have to tighten it, you have to maintain it, because remember, that this isn't what it was designed for. It was designed to be a hide scraper. And so we're kind of testing it to the limits. Um, but it works pretty well. Because it is a hide scraper, it tackles scraping jobs pretty good. So I have a little Roycroft frame here that I might want to smooth down. All right. You see how nice that works. Scrapes the bark off. Very nice. All that stuff you can catch and use for tinder also. If it's not too green. But you can see how nice that is. Alright, so. Look out, goof. Come on, beat it. I've sharpened one side flat on here for scraping a fire steel. The other side I've beat the tar out of um, striking uh, flint. Flip it around here. I don't know if you guys can catch those sparks, but it throws sparks, so that's one good thing for firecraft, uh, but I'm not a big fan of relying on something like that. I always like my fire steels. Working on a little kit here. So I've got it scraped down flat. Let me see which side I got it on here. grass a little damp. You wanted to go. There she goes. Alright. So David Beck hide scraper. O1 tool steel, about an eighth of an inch thick, uh, tempered up to about right here. Fire steel striker, striking flint, improvised uh, adds, improvised hatchet, uh, actual hide scraper, scraping wood. Uh, the price on this, about $30, which I about fell out of my chair when I found out. I thought that was super cheap. Uh, here's a neat thing, though. I, uh, I actually contacted Mr. Beck, and uh, I said, hey, I'm a, I want to do a review on one of your deals, and I'd like to buy one. So I sent him the money, and he sent me two of them. So this one I've been beating on for a while and pounding on it, and I'm going to keep it. And then the one that I have is brand new, I'm going to give away. So what I want you to do to do that is to go to, to find out how to do that, is to go to uh, Monkey Stomp Gear Reviews on my blog, and you'll find out how to enter the contest to get this Dave Beck Hide Scraper, a brand new one.